Hey guys. What's going on, y'all? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode. Happy Memorial Day weekend. It's the Big Skill Podcast. We back. Still going strong. What's going on, folks? What up? Man, what's up out there in the podcast world? You know, we done missed a few weeks, but we got a lot of things to we talk about. We ain't missed no weeks. We good. We, hey, I'm saying we we missed <laughs> some topics, some things that's going on, and some things that's been eliminated since we last, you know, saw our, our people. Well, let's not waste no time. Bring up the topics then. Well, let's see. Let's get into it. The defending champs gone fishing. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, who sent the defending champs on? Ant Man. All right. One of those guys. Go ahead. Go one, ahead. Of, one of Go those ahead. newer guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> Luca. Hey, last Luca, night. Luca, Luca, did y'all watch the game and, last night? I didn't yeah, get seen a the chance game last night. I seen that he made a. Oh, that shot was cold. Yeah, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. Uh, Luca and OKC and SGA, who got robbed for the MVP. In my opinion, and many others, yeah, mm-hmm. they had a great series. They did. They that did. also ended on a questionable foul call. That's just me. You you the, you, you got to let the guys play. You can't let a game be decided on the that. The call wasn't questionable. It was the right call. It just should have not been made. So if you go up for a jump, no, it shouldn't have been. And I hit the ball first, and then I hit your arm. That's a foul. The thing is, the the by rule, I'm saying by rule, right. the ball never left his hand. So if the ball would have left his hand and then he hit him, then that's what they deemed the new phrase they got, marginal contact. Uh, yeah. No call. Mm-hmm. Okay. But because the ball didn't leave his hand mm-hmm. and, you know what I'm saying? That would mean he had to have shot faked him in order for that, to, it was that sh- scenario it was, to actually. It was sort of a shot fake. Okay. It was sort of a shot fake. Like I said, it was the right call. I just don't think it should have been made in that moment. Like you said, you got to let the players decide yeah, the game. Man. He hit a shot, tip your hat to him. That's a hell of a shot in the corner. Trapped between a defender and the sideline. He make that shot. Hey, brother, you, you made that. Yeah. But to make that call for the series to end like that, yeah. I didn't I didn't I didn't like that. Mm-hmm. I didn't like that. Somebody that used to referee, I would not have made that call. Now, fast forward to last night's game. Luca, Ant Man, right now. So let me tell you what's going on with Anthony Edwards right now because this He looks like he needs some pen particles right now. Let, let me tell you what's and going on. And I love him. Let me tell you what's no going shade. Let me tell you what's going on with Anthony Edwards right now. After they beat Denver, the first thing Ant said was, I got Kyrie next series. Yeah. Let me tell you where Ant made a mistake. Anthony Edwards had just got done with Jamal Murray, did a good job on him yeah. in the second half. Compromised yeah. Jamal Murray. Compromised Jamal Murray. Was ineffective in the third and fourth Man, quarter of that you, game. If you play, you ain't compromised, nigga. Don't come out there if you what ain't you your hundred. I, I, I agree with that. Hey, you, you know, hey, guess I'm, a big, I'm a big stickler for that. Right. If you step on the court, with, with you, you got to perform. With, hey, with you, in the times that you work and you being a businessman, there's been times where you may not have been feeling your best physically, or somebody might have died, but you were still out there, right? Uh, now. But you're not you're not a hundred percent at your best. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. If I'm competing against something, nigga. N- competing, nigga. you you making money is is competition. No, you competing against the competition, no. especially being but, a business. But you're competing man. once you step out there, nigga. All that is out the way, nigga. So if my because calf, the, if I got a lingering calf injury, and right, people know about it. He got a lingering calf injury, but did one game. Didn't he have how many points? Even them never. He yeah, actually had 30, 34 in that game. Yeah, seven. 34, 34 points. So. My thing is, you had thirty four points I, I in the calf. You, Luca had the game winner, and both his knees fucked up. No, I'm well, my my it. point, but, but even after that, after that, um, after that game last yeah. night, they asked Kyrie Irving about it. They were like, "Yo, Luca's a warrior. I'm not, I'm not concerned with him. He's gonna step on the court and he's gonna, he's gonna perform." Right. You know. So I agree with you on that, Greg. Like, if you, if you, if you step on the court, you gotta perform. Right. Period. And now, getting back to Anthony Edwards, right. his mistake was thinking Kyrie Irving is Jamal Murray. Oh yeah. That was his mistake. Yeah. Um, he just, just young. Love, he I, young. I love, he young, bro. He just, no, all youngsters but, think but, they but, can take but it. That, but that's it. why I like Anthony yeah. Edwards because yeah. I like the I like the bravado. I like the yeah. confidence. Of course, he's just gonna go out and who? Yeah. Hey, Kevin Durant, my favorite player. But I'm about yeah. to send you home. Yeah, exactly. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. He's supposed to have. Nigga, I love that. Hey, I grew up watching LeBron James. I'm finna send Denver home mm-hmm. for LeBron, mm-hmm. and he did that. Mm-hmm. Hey, I got Kyrie Irving. I could guard him. Yeah. That's, that's, Ky- that's Kyrie Irving. That's Kyrie Irving. That's Kyrie Irving. Ain't too many people can go on Kyrie yeah. Irving in the history of basketball. That, that, like, that's, 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 that's Kyrie Irving. You know why? And that's why when people... Because he's the ISO... 
He's a I, I, he's I, a ISO I, scorer. He's That's the best. He specializes. He's the in. best one on one player in basketball so, right now. Yeah, yeah. he got handles. Yeah. Look, yeah. he did. Look, he did a move last night, and I just was like, my nigga went from left to right and did an eye, and I just was like, God damn, bro, the best one on one player in yeah, basketball. He is. He is. And like I say, and that and that's the thing about it is like like y'all just said. No, he's the best one number on one. two. He's, he's the, the best one on one player yeah, in basketball. I ain't never seen nobody be able to stop Kyrie Irving, bro. Who's okay? Who's you know the best score one on one ISO score in the whole league is, and I know y'all gonna disagree with me. Cool. I don't want this to go off into somebody else because he's at home. He went fishing, but the best one on one ISO score in the league is fucking Kevin Durant. Nah. At this point, nobody can guard him one on one. Right now, we're not talking this, about team success. No, we're talking about at, his game and what he no, do. No, no, no. He's this, a hype misses at this point in time, and all that. At this point in time, no. Maybe at one point in time, we're talking about right now. Right now, at this Kyrie point Irving in time, we're not talking about his whole career. Yes, of course, of course, nigga. We, I, I can agree with that. You feel yeah. what I'm saying for real? I think right, right now, if right you now, ask me, right you now. ask me who I'm taking one on one against anybody, any yeah. defender. Give me Kyrie Irving. Yeah. I mean, Irving. the same could be said again for Steph Curry. Nah, Steph Curry, I don't think he's as good one-on-one. -on -one nah, he's playing a system. Yeah, man. Steph Curry playing a system. A lot Steph of picks. A lot of, now he's, he's a lot of picks. Now, granted, he's good because he got, yeah. got yeah. handled. Yeah. He can, get, That's he not can. a system. That's a person that plays without the ball. You're supposed to move without the ball and, run, and use screens. Man, I ain't going to lie. Not man. everybody do that. Not everybody I mean, do that. That's, yeah. Not everybody does it. But, but yeah. you're supposed but to do it. But not everybody's you're supposed good to be able to play with them I mean, without so, the ball. So how was it? Not I every... know it was a ga a game winning shot. So it obviously was a good game. You feel it was, Minnesota was up by twenty Damn. plus. Almost no. And then they it wasn't, it it wasn't like that. twenty. It was like 18, 19. 19. They, and they came back. Yeah, man. I thought they yeah, was, was gonna take the game. It was like eighteen nineteen in Damn. the second quarter. And I remember Nas Reed went off. He had like eight nine. How many Kyrie had at the end? I don't even. I think he had like twenty four or something like that. Like it wasn't. It wasn't. How many Luca had? Look at I have no idea. Bro. He almost I had a triple. Know. He hit a he three over a Rudy Gobert in, in game and, time. And see, it, and this is what my mistake was with Minnesota is why do you have Rudy Gobert out there when you know you got to switch everything? Right. Because exactly. Luka is smart. Right. Kyrie is smart. Right. Oh, Rudy Gobert is on the floor. Hey, give me a pick. Right. Exactly. Give me a pick and then get out my way. Right. Exactly. And that's exactly what Luka did. Yeah. Give me a pick, uh -huh. get Rudy Gobert on me, and get out my way. Right. Exactly. And Damn. Luca said, "Hey, let's dance." Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Step yeah. back, three pointer. Yeah. But like, so like, and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and they said something after the game. Uh, the inside the NBA crew, um, they said something like they asked him now, like, "Would you be able to do that against whoever was in front of you?" Now Luca's humble; he's not going to answer that question. But my opinion is, in that situation. It may be a handful of people that yeah. would have defended mm -hmm. that play better. Mm -hmm. Under under bears. under mm -hmm. under which set of basketball rules are we talking about? We talking, we talking about, about right about... now. We talking right. about right now. I'm just making we're not sure talking about that. We talk about right now. Lucas playing right now, right. not in no other now, era. Now, now, He's playing right now. Now they down two zero, but does this down two zero look like? Uh, down two zero to where they can't win, or it look like a a down. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It looked like they down two zero to bad where Dallas because... is going to the finals two zero. Yeah. It do. It, it Honestly, because they're young here, and inexperienced, and they playing. And it's, like it. it start. It's showing in this series. They making. They're making young, inexperienced young mistakes. Young, inexperienced mistakes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're making young, inexperienced mistakes. Carl Anthony Towns is trash. Yeah, that nigga's trash. I don't give a fuck. Nobody say he he's do, fucking he trash. He he has the potential to be a great player, but he plays like a a. He, Carl, he stays. In, yeah. How you are all star, my nigga, and you get two fouls in the first quarter. Every game, because he has what's to, going on with you, bro? His, because he has the brain the size of a fucking peanut. That's why he be doing his fouls IQ, and he sit there. Oh my god! Shut your stupid ass his up, man. IQ, his IQ is the fucking yeah. the age of a fucking newborn. That's yeah. why he stays in foul yeah. trouble. He's the stupidest NBA player right now. All right, so it, he's it, the so, dumbest NBA so, player right now. So y'all say it's not because of. Uh, they are a, a, a so called better team. It's just because they Minnesota. They, they, no, more, no, no. they more the uh, the Dallas is more polished. Thank They're more okay, polished, exactly and, the, and Jason Kidd has been there, bro. Jason he, Kidd. He yeah. is playing Muppet with Kyrie and Luka and getting what he wants them to do at their think, best capability. Yeah, I think the, to I me. Think, I think yeah. the coaching has been better. Jason yeah. Kidd is out coaching For Minnesota's sure. coach. Sure. Um, Dallas, they have the experience because they have Luka. Yeah. They have Kyrie. Yeah. That's the experience. Little right Timmy's there. been in the playoffs. Tim Hardaway Jr., they have yeah. the experience. Yeah. And they're playing like a team that's been there. Okay. Whereas yeah. Minnesota yeah. is a good team. Right. 
I think they're the better team. Yeah. I think they're the deeper team. It, no it, D. It, it just, but it just, they just young. They're playing young. Yeah. And it's showing. And Nobody expected them to make but, it this far but anyway. Were, but but this will be a learning experience. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So absolutely. by next year, what you think? I think it. I think they learn from this and they will figure it out. I think if Dallas and Minnesota was to run it back next year, we see a different result. Yeah, because they're all different. They'll be like Zion is going to be back. Zion is going to be healthy. The Uh, West is going to be crazy next year. The West, the West is already crazy. But New Orleans and Minnesota ain't winning nothing. John Moran ain't winning shit. New Orleans and Minnesota not winning. not winning shit. I mean, and you're saying it's based off what? He's not winning shit. They got some niggas is highlight reels. I'm just telling you, just like I said, some niggas highlight reels, bro. Some nigga, James Harden the highlight reel. You feel what I'm saying? Bro? Some niggas is highlight reels, bro. Hey, some I've been saying that about Barry Sanders for, for years, and niggas want to say nah, he the greatest. Get the fuck out of here. Nah, bro. that Barry's... man stopped playing. He retired. He was already past Emmett when he fucking retired. You feel what I'm saying? Who said anything about Emmett? Nigga, that's the... that has nothing to do with nothing. Emmett Smith is holds damn near all the motherfucking records. You know what I'm saying? Is a fucking yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, 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 running back. What we yeah, will yeah, say yeah, is, yeah. is that. Is Barry Sanders better than Orenthal James? No. Yeah. Is he better yeah. than Jim yeah. Graham? No. He played around the same amount of years as them. They all played like... Is he better like, than Bo Jackson? They no. They all played like... Is he better than Walter Payton? No. Hold up. How many is he years? better than Eric Dickerson? Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. How many years How many years did Jim Brown play? Like nine, right? About nine years. How many years did Barry Sanders play? About nine years. About nine years. We're not basing this off of... Nigga, Nine years. We both we're stopped. basing this off somebody oh, who had poor sportsmanship, who signed the contract, who quit. There you go with that the owner mentality. We're like not talking said. about that. Yeah, we're, we're not talking, talking about, about that. on skill. the field. Skill. skill. On the field highlight, we was talking about highlight reel. Barry Sanders is a highlight reel. No. Reggie Bush is a highlight Nigga, reel. Football is not like basketball. LaShawn McCoy is Fo- a highlight football reel. Football is not nah, like basketball. No, I disagree. Fo- football is not like basketball. Listen, it's five on five. It's different. You can really bring your team to a win in football. Football is, you got a defense niggas got to come out and do their job. My offense niggas got to come and do their yeah. job. Nigga, in basketball, that same nigga playing defense and offense. The same nigga, listen, nigga, only person that get a chance to make a, a great play in in, in in times where you down is a quarterback, a receiver, or a running back. Got the quarterback got the ball. Yeah, the exactly, nigga. It's not play. like basketball, nigga. In, in, in basketball, nigga, the rebound nigga can get a fucking dunk and put back, or he can make a defensive play and block it. Not a nigga coming out and change it. No, that's different. Nigga, I'm just talking about stay your hands down. You Barry Sanders, at, at, at day one, Day one, next two. Here, here's where I'm Everybody, here, here's what nine I'm, years here, of play, he, here's, was, here's, he, he did what Emma Smith took 10 to 20 here's years. Here's what I'm going to say. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. All saying about that. yards, right? Barry Sanders. I just want to say he had a – wait, can I just make this one point right quick? You two and my cousin always talking about, oh, this and that. He went to the fucking playoffs seven of those nine years. No, he did And the teams that he lost no, he to, the teams that he lost to, to went Sanders on to be – the way, can I finish? Do running back, do running backs win championships in the NFL? Is the fucking quarterback? And let's be fucking real. Is, like uh, I'm just saying, like we're not talking about quarterbacks. We talking about Barry Sanders. No, listen. And when do running backs most of the teams the that he lost to in the playoffs? The Packers. They went on to win the Super Bowl. The Cowboys, they went on to win the Super Bowl. Oh, the Redskins, man. they went on to win bro, the Super Bowl. You, you don't get what I'm saying, three bro. times. You said he made the playoffs seven times. He did. No, he, no, he denied, man. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Right. No, he I didn't. seen the documentary. Stop Nigga playing didn't. with me, man. He no, he didn't. Didn't. I seen the documentary last year. He did not. Stop trying to make a narrative. I'm he not was here. a great player on a team. He was a great player on a team. He was a great player on a team that wasn't good enough in the NFC at the time with the 49ers and the Cowboys and the Packers. And the other teams exactly doing what's going that. on. Yeah, that that is, is the facts. The facts is not, he a- oh, he wasn't going to the playoffs and this, that, and the third. Barry Sanders is great. But let's be clear. He's not a Jim Brown. He's not an OJ Simpson. He That's, is. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yes, he is. That's dumb. That's and they dumb. will see it. And the only reason why I brought him up is because you Dude. said highlights. No. What I think about a football player is a highlight. I think about basketball highlights. Basketball is different, with him. though. Everybody, everybody All got he highlights. has is highlight runs. Everybody got highlights. You highlight can't put runs. him in at the one and say, get us a score. Yes, you can. Go get us a first yeah, down. Yes, you can. Right, yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah, there you go. Does yes, he block? No. Yes, he does. Barry Sanders did block. Yeah, he did. bro. That's crazy, man. Like I say, bro. Hey, it, man. It's not. You was talking about niggas. Is all they do is highlights and John Morant, right? He was not a highlight. He was, highlight. Barry Sanders was a complete highlight reel. Barry running Sanders back. was a complete running back. There is no highlight reel of Emmitt Smith blocking. Emmitt Smith did everything. There's no highlight reel of Emmitt Smith blocking. Blo- There's catching, no highlight reel running, of Emmitt. There everything. is no highlight reel everything. of Emmitt Smith blocking. Pull up a highlight reel of him right. blocking. I'm. Pull I'm up! Not, a, I, I didn't even up. mention Emmett. Y'all two Emmett. There's no. Emmett. We sir, I ain't said. Let me say this. Let me say this. 
There's no highlight reel right. of Jim Brown blocking. Right. There's no highlight he reel. He wasn't of, a blocker either. There's no highlight reel of O.J. Simpson blocking. Right. There's no highlight reel of Walter Payton blocking. Right. All these running backs highlight reels of them running the ball. That's a highlight reel. Everyone has a highlight reel. Right. Walter Payton has one. O.J. has yes. one. Jim Brown has one. Right. Eric Dickerson has one. Barry Sanders right. has one. Emmitt Smith has one. Right. Any running back. LeSean McCoy has one. Any right. running back you think you could think of, you pull up that highlight reel, right. it's of them making a highlight play. That's why it's called a yes. highlight reel. Right. It's not a reel of them blocking. Yes. And this is what I mean. But if you actually watch the football game, like I did right. in the early 90s, in the mid-90s, right. when Barry Sanders played, he was a complete running back. Right. And this he did I, everything out there. This, this is what I mean by highlight reel. He wasn't just a not highlight reel. Come not, on, man. When I say highlight reel in basketball, I mean when you had a team, a team, that you actually could have done something with. Not when you were in the garbage can and you just getting real. I'm talking about these people had um these people had teams. Nigga, um who I just said? John uh, Morant. Yeah, and, let's get back and, on let's get back on track. We was talking no. about John Morant and uh Are you talking about John and, Morant and, and Zion James Harden. Harden? You yeah. said they not James Harden, shit. James James Harden. He been on teams where they could have done something. And at That's times true. where he could have been the man to pull get over the hump. I and he, 2018, like Rockets. And he didn't. You know what I mean? Real, he don't got this. I just, Jason Tatum don't got this. Just, we was talking about that man, earlier. I just say highlight reels. Nigga, that's what I'm saying. Niggas who get do, they get all the accolades, but when it's time to step up in the lights, my nigga, they, they're very expensive. Never not stepped up in the lights. No matter what it is, he just didn't have the team that he just lost. But he always stepped up in the lights and did what he's supposed to do. That's the difference between a highlight reel, bro. Highlight reel, nigga, get all this shit. And Let's when it's be time. clear. I don't think that he's, I think he's one of the great, Running backs to ever play the game, yeah. But in the esteem that y'all hold him in, man. I don't see it. The world hold him in. See that's what I be thinking. I don't no, see if, it. If he don't see I, it, that's I, cool. I, I don't see money. He don't have to see it. But everything this fit do. I right see Marshall here. Falk, Ladanian Tomlinson, uh, uh, Eric Sanders, Dickerson, Barry Sanders did all that. Bo Jackson, Barry yeah. Sanders, other did all niggas. That. Listen, this, I don't see him. No, this Barry what I be saying. Fit, listen, I can see if it was just me, you, and and Joel in the world, right? And you thought that he wasn't like that. So and y'all all snort and crack. I'm supposed to do it too. I didn't say snort crack. Listen, what I'm trying to say is, man, majority of something, people don't force people to um, press and vote on the person that they like, my nigga. It's, 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 they press it because majority of people press it, and that's how you win the vote, my nigga, like for real. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no hype on Barry Sanders. He wasn't like back like the Cowboys and shit like that, nigga. It was under the Detroit Lions. Why we keep talking about the Cowboys? No, because I know that's my team, no. and y'all, and we down right now. No, we don't gotta take shots. I no, ain't saying nothing about I'm the not, Cowboys. I'm not taking shots. Amen. I'm nothing. saying I'm saying Cowboys are America's team. That's why I use the Cowboys. We were. They, we were. They still America's team, nigga. They still sell more than any motherfucking body in the we world. Do. Fuck you. But we don't about? fucking win. And, listen, and our quarterback is win. ass. They don't have Guess to what? Win. I'm keeping it fucking on butt. They don't got to win. I'm just saying what I mean is it like this. And he wasn't in a big franchise place, what I'm saying. They're win. owned by the Ford family. That's one of the biggest corporations in the whole fucking world. Yeah, that. but Detroit is not a big franchise like that. Man. It's not a big franchise market. Yeah, ain't nobody. When people talk about big, big markets and stuff like that, yeah. Detroit is not a big yeah, market. So, yeah, that's what I mean by that. So I'm just saying, I ain't gonna lie, John Morant and it's like I said, Jason Tatum. I don't think they're gonna win, and the Celtics can get there all they want to. They're gonna lose again. Because that nigga does not show up when it's time to show the fuck up. Ain't got no dog. Brown got no do. Dog in Brown do. Yeah, Brown do. You feel what I'm saying? For real though, make that that. The other night they won because of Brown. The, they yeah, cause always win because of Brown. What do you mean, nigga? He get the points that mean something. Every time I've ever seen it, I'll be like, man, just like they keep saying about about Joker, nigga. He does all the shit, but who wins the motherfucking games is Murray every motherfucking time. He's when he's not on, they don't win. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So honestly, yeah. So it's like hell yeah. All right, so while we talk about Jason Tatum, yeah. So the conversation that he yeah. referred to that we had was yeah. the comparison of Jason Tatum and Donovan Mitchell. Uh, the stats uh, is the, st the only stat that Jason Tatum was winning in when they was brought up on uh, mm -hmm. Gilbert Arenas podcast. Yeah. Brandon and Jenny, and Brandon Jenny is said, on. I love you, bro. You was great. But stop the fucking hate. That's why he brought that up. Wow. Brandon, the only, the Brandon only Jennings, stat he was beating in was Brandon rebounds. Jennings was hating they, on Donovan, was on Donovan Mitchell he, on the podcast. And he said, oh, yeah, he's still yeah, not, yeah. he's still not, he needs to be taller. And his points don't yeah. matter. And all this other, Donovan Mitchell is motherfucking baby Dwayne Wade. Yeah, I said it. Now the niggas have said it. Kenyon Martin said it. Rashard McCann said it. 
Gilbert Lightweight agreed with no, it. No, that was his competition, his comparison, not competition, his comparison yeah. coming out of college that he was basically Dwayne Wade. That was yeah. his comp. So no, no, that's that not, dude is good as a motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nobody deserved to be Gilbert, talked about in a higher regard, but he ain't never had no fucking help. The nigga, you gotta, the nigga you gotta, put up 30 in the, and he put up 50 in the playoffs this year. Wait, who you, you play gotta, for again, Utah? He played for the Cavs, Cavs. now. Cavs, okay. You yeah, got yeah, yeah, yeah. to win. Utah, Bro, Cavs. Yeah. You got to. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. What, you, what you don't understand. Garland didn't show up. What you don't understand, though, is you say he should be talked about in the higher regards. You know what gets you talked about in the higher regards? Winning. Thank you. Has you Jason Tatum won? No. Jason Tatum's been to the finals. Yes, he but has he won? No. no. He hasn't won. But yes, listen, hold on. The okay. Buffalo no. Bills go to the Super Bowl. No, no, no. Let's go there. 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 Winning and going. Listen, and listen. Matter, matter of fact. Matter of fact. No, let's go there. Let's go there. No, no, no. Let's take a shot without you feeling offended. The 49ers have been to the Super Bowl three times in 10 years. And they haven't won. And they haven't won. the 49er fans, you, Marshawn, my cousin, will want to say, but we've been there. What's the point of taking a bitch out and you ain't gonna get the pussy? No. So fucking what? You, you took her out. Joe, so what? You got the number. You. That's the so point. So what? You listen, got the listen. number. What, what, you didn't I, do nothing listen, with it. Can I listen, say? Can listen, I say? Besides, besides them winning it all, was it? I'm what, fuck with you. Listen, can I say listen, something? listen. Besides winning it all, did they have a good season? Yeah. That was, that was here, winning. You know what I mean? You may not win championships. Here's what. Here's here's the difference between Jason Tatum and Donovan Mitchell. Jason Tatum been in the league for eight years. Yeah. Jason Tatum been to six conference finals. Yeah. And an NBA finals. Yeah. Donovan Mitchell's never been past the second round. Jason Tatum has had Donovan Kyrie Mitchell is, Irving. Donovan Chris Mitchell Stafford has Davis. never been past the second Jaylen round. Jalen Brown. So what? Marcus Smart. Utah was one of the Utah was one of the best teams in the West when they had Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert and Mike Conley. The same Rudy Gobert O'Neal, you trash all the time. The same Rudy Gobert that I trash all the time was always a top four seed in the West. And couldn't get to the conference finals. The year they should have got to the conference final was 2021, but they lost to the Clippers. That was the year they should have. So you blame him or his supporting cast? Hey, listen, it's a team sport. I blame everybody. I blame everybody. It's a team sport. You can't you can't heap praise on somebody right, right. when they score 50 right. in the playoff game, right, right. but then they get to the, they get the. To, to be alleviated when they lose. Nah, right. if you get the praise when you win, you got to take the blame when you lose. It's a team sport. Donovan Mitchell is part of that team, so he gets some of the blame. He deserves blame, but so does Darius Garden. So oh, does Carol I said Levert. the team. All right. I said the team, but you can't say the team and not include Donovan Mitchell. Again, Donovan Mitchell has never been past the second round. You want to know why he's not mentioned up there with these other guys? Because he's never been past the second round. You want to know why Jason Tatum is mentioned up there with these guys, an MVP candidate every year? Because in his eight seasons in the NBA, he's been to the conference final six times. He's been to the NBA yeah. finals once. Yeah. And in two more wins, make it twice. Because yeah. they're going to beat Indiana and think, go to the finals again. All right, That's the difference. You, that you got to win. Do you think that, and we could use, I could bring Michael Jordan this. Michael Jordan may have been Donovan Mitchell S. He never got out the first round until Scottie Pippen and better players and better coaching came. And that was a knock on Michael Jordan is that he yeah, wasn't winning. That was a knock. He wasn't getting out the first they, they, round. They, they, didn't, they did not say that. You know what the Pistons get? You know what Isaiah Thomas always says about Michael Jordan? We kicked his ass three straight years in the playoffs. They did. Mm-hmm. He says that. Mm-hmm. He said when I was in the league. He was not even my, he wasn't my peer. He was. No. He said he wasn't my peer. He right. wasn't my competition. My competition was the Philadelphia 76ers, the Boston Celtics, and the right. Los Angeles Lakers. Right. That's who he was looking at. Exactly. These are the guys that said my way of winning the championship. Yeah. Not Michael Jordan. He beat Michael Jordan three straight years. Right. He wasn't. And that's the thing. That's the, that's the truth. You know how I go, nigga? That's the truth. That's the world, nigga. You got to win. You got to win. Guess what? So the knock on Michael Jordan was. What people say to this day is that everybody forgets about Michael Jordan's first six years in the league. Yep. No, we don't. Michael Jordan was not winning his first six years in the league. Right. So you could be the best player in the league all you want. Right. That's Hall of Fame shit. Yeah. Your legacy is winning. Yeah. Michael Jordan's first six, six years in the league, he wasn't winning. Right. He could have retired after his first six years. You know what his legacy would have been? Great player. Right. Hall of Fame player. Uh-huh. Didn't get past the second round. Right. Or the, com- or the conference. Back. Tracy McGrady's the perfect example. That man was on the level of Kobe Bryant offensively. He's a Hall of Famer and a legend. Exactly my point. That, that's what he just said. All right, I got but you. he didn't win nothing. Yeah, he, yeah, he didn't the win. one time Tracy McGrady got to the finals was in 2013 with the Spurs. With the Spurs? Bro, you was a 15 guy by then. Your right. career was over. Exactly. 
True. But when you were in your prime, right. you never got out the first round and in it, Orlando. And this is why I always have the argument for LBJ. You feel what I'm saying? For real, though. This is why. But but again. No matter what you give him. It's just no, no, no. He's a winner. You, you can't do that. He's you can't do that. Though. No, I'm not saying he's not a winner. But we cannot forget LeBron's first eight years in the league. We cannot never, forget that he, LeBron, like Shaq. His first has eight, had a great first Hall of Fame player everywhere years, he's been. His first eight years in the How league. How about he, that? LeBron's first eight years in the league. Mean? Two conference finals, one NBA finals. Didn't win. We can't overlook no, that. Man, listen, at least he... Can't, no, I'm talking about he was able... Listen, he was able to produce. No, he was able to... That, produce. That's what I'm talking about. The difference between... Oh, and they, oh boy, no, they ain't no, making out the he, second he, round. He, no, was, he was able to produce. Man, produce but... The argument. No, we're not talking about the end game. I'm talking about. No, no, we're not talking about the end game. He don't even get to the. He don't even get to the even the. Right. Even the, that, right. Yeah. But it's, um, the no, series they just lost not, in the Boston. Not the, he averaged thirty. Listen, we're. It what blame does he deserve? Well, who lost? Who averaged thirty? The you games he played in, he was averaging thirty. Bro, it's a team. What blame does but he it's deserve? It's a team game, game though. Bro. That's a, that in this era of basketball where we where yes. we where we Darius Garland is supposed to be his number two. Where we I, didn't show up listen, none the whole playoff, the era, first or second bro, round. In this era of basketball where we idolize individuality, right. I hate that shit. Yeah, because it, what it, we it, do, it, because what we do is is that we idolize individual stats yeah. and we idolize no, was, individual yeah, play. You ain't lying. And it's a team we game. forget that it's a team yeah, game again. Listen, my favorite athlete. To ever touch any basketball, baseball, football, whatever, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, to me, the greatest skill player ever to play. It's Kobe ever. Bryant. Ever when Kobe lost, I say that even all the time. When Kobe lost, I didn't say Smush Parker didn't step up and Lamar right. Odom didn't step up no. and Luke Walton and all these other yeah, niggas. No, it's a team game. It's a team, bro. It's a team game. It's a team game. So when the team lost, yeah. Kobe lost too. True. And you know what Kobe did? Kobe owned that shit. Yeah. I don't care. Wait, listen. Let's go yeah. back to 2006. Yeah. Let's go back to 2006. Uh -huh. Game six against the Suns. <laughs> this is why I always say Kobe Bryant is the most skilled basketball player in the world, but. He stopped himself from winning like ten champions. Game six against the Suns. Sure, that when right he there. when he dropped fifty, you know who hates that game more than anybody? Kobe, because they lost. Kobe don't give a fuck about that. Yeah. I wish he was alive and could still talk yeah. about it. Yeah. Kobe don't give a fuck about that fifty point game because they lost. Yeah. They lost. That's when I realized. I say, oh damn. Kobe Bryant wants to be. You can't. You Kobe can't. Bryant is more. You can't a, win by yourself. Player. In a team player. And he was. Number eight was about number eight. So was. Number 24 was about the team. Yeah. That's why number 24 got two more championships. Mm -hmm. Of course, they gave him some help. They gave yeah. him Gasol. Yeah. Andrew Bynum came in. But he trusted his team. Yeah. Man. He turned into Andrew Bynum. But Kobe started trusting Pau Gasol. Yeah, he he started trusting Andrew Bynum. He already trusted Derek Fisher. Yeah. He started trusting Lamar Odom. That, he started trusting Jordan Farmer. Yep, he started yep. trusting Shannon Brown. He trusted Trevor Ariza and Ron Artest. He trusted. Ron Artest. Was it the, trusted? Or he no, had better trusted. teammates. Now, here we go. Oh, nah, nah, nah. That, no, he had teammates. Trust. He had teammates that earned his trust. Right. It, Ron Artest, you think Ron, you was think, it that or was they better than listen, teammates that he had? Listen, listen, no, no, listen, listen. Let me ask y'all a question. Like Joe Let me said, ask y'all a question. Else too, I'm gonna say it was. What, 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 listen, what? I believe he realized, like, nigga, I don't have to. Uh, exactly. The game when the that shot. goes in the trust. And I don't have and, to, and, that, and that's a great he, segue. Listen, he wanted all the accolades. But that's I a great. Have the most points in the game. Hit the game. But that's a great. Shot, dog the nigga out. But that's a they great like, segue. Hey, bro, yeah. But that's a great segue into what I was about to say. Yeah. Do y'all think number eight passes that ball to Ron Artest and he hit that three pointer against Boston? Hell no. When number twenty four did. Hell hey, yeah. they double teaming me, Ron. I think you any open? Smart basketball player to see that I'm off. Is gonna pass it to a nigga. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Listen to me. He shot more than anybody ever. Me. Number eight wouldn't have cared. Yeah, no. Nah. I don't care from. But remember, on I'm the same Suns game, the reason why they the Suns came back and beat him because Kobe Bryant had four niggas on him and he could have passed the ball. They could have put the Suns out when he didn't pass the ball, my nigga. That's the time I think he learned. Like, oh shit. Yeah, I, that was. was that, what the fuck am I doing? Nigga, this nigga was wide open. I shot on four niggas and then the Suns came back and put him out the shit. They had the Suns put away. Hey, they had the Suns beat Kobe Bryant. You deserve and earn that right to be able to shoot the ball for six niggas on. Nah, that's not team basketball, not, man. They lost, man. If my teammates suck. No. I am the team. They don't suck that much. They don't suck that much. If I'm scoring 30, 40 points. But listen. 
and we lose, I don't bro, give a fuck. I can sleep good at night. Man, that, I did my job. They need to do their that's job. Look what I'm saying. That's selfish, it bro. wasn't. It wasn't. Selfish, it wasn't. Bro. I'm trusting that nigga to make an open three, bro. He had niggas under the basket open. It that's was selfish, it, bro. Any nigga on that team would have made that fucking easy ass layup. He would have passed the fucking ball because he had the whole team on. That nigga wanted. He, you know what he wanted to do? He wanted to. He seen it in his head. Kobe Bryant hit the last shot on the Suns, put it away. Oh, clutch shot. He won. Look at the dude's paper. Kobe did it. Kobe did it. Fuck the team. And that's why he lost. And, yeah. he, and he turned. You know why he four. lost? Because his teammates, when they were lesser, didn't do what Bill Belichick said, <laughs> which is do your job. That, on the Bulls teams, that when they won them three-piece, Bill Winnington did his job. Paxton did his job. Armstrong did his job. All those guys did their job, but you know, but you know why they were they were able to do their job. They were able to do their job is because Phil Jackson told Michael Jordan mm -hmm. when he took over, "You got to trust your teammates. You can't come out here thinking that you could do this by yourself. Mm -hmm. You got to trust your teammates. You have to trust your teammates. You have to give them an opportunity to do their job." Which means let's go back to 1997, Game Six against Utah, mm -hmm. Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. He had to pass that ball to Steve mm -hmm. Kerr when he got double teamed for Steve Kerr to knock that jumper down sure to did. win the series. Sure Michael Jordan, let's go back to 1993, mm -hmm. game six against the Sun, mm -hmm. when they doubled Michael Jordan in the backcourt. He had to give that ball up to Scottie Pippen, mm -hmm. who threw it ahead to Horace Grant, mm -hmm. who found John Paxson behind the three-point mm -hmm. line for that three-pointer that won the series. Mm -hmm. you, can, you, 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 you got to trust your teammates, man. Yeah. You yeah, got to yeah. trust your teammates. Yeah, and on the flip side... Your teammates have to give you a reason to trust them. True. Now, that's now true. the reason why Kobe Bryant did all that stuff that he did in the Sun Series is because Kobe Bryant felt like his teammates didn't give him a reason to trust him. So he said, I got to do this shit myself. And that was the wrong mentality because yeah. you don't win by yourself yeah. in the NBA. No. You just don't. You just don't. You just don't. I've that's never not seen, the, I've never, I've never seen, seen, seen a guy win by themselves. Hell no. Nah. I seen a nigga take over again. Yeah, you, yeah, you could take over a game. You still gotta have stops. You still got. That, you still gotta and, get stops. Unless you was blocking still every gotta, on the other side of the team. Yeah, you and still got every point, nigga. Then that's the only way you can. Gotta get. I've never seen that. Get and I've seen the niggas take over the ball. Again. And you gotta be like, all whoa, they went the one without this nigga, but it's still a team game. You're right about that. So it is not that dynamic. That nigga's good as fuck. But you gotta remember, bro. Man, he's in Cleveland. He's in this, that. But look, LeBron was in Cleveland, though. I, and not to go back to LeBron again. Listen, LeBron was in Cleveland. He had, listen, but LeBron, that's why I say it's not the individualness of LeBron. It's the team play of LeBron. That's why I give this nigga the accolades that you I You know why I can't speak on LeBron the way you speak on him? I'm going to be honest with you, right? My family, like the homie Mark Brown, is from Cleveland, right? Okay. And to me, forevermore, that nigga's a fucking coward. And like Charles oh, Barkley man. said, like Charles Barkley <laughs> said, let that go, if you're so great. Charles Barkley? Like, let me finish. Charles Barkley? Let me finish. The nigga let me finish. Nothing, let me the finish. The nigga let me, make it that's say that's the your opinion. That's your opinion. No, he is a loser. That's your opinion. Is he a winner, Joe? That's your if I was him, I could walk around and with my chest poked out like, yeah, you got championships, Kenny, but you ain't as good as me. And a lot of niggas that got championships ain't as good as Nobody me. And some niggas that got championships ain't as good as me. So who give a fuck? See? But to my point, like I was saying, yeah. fucking, man, you made me forget what the LeBron fuck I was going to say, man. He's a coward. Was yeah, he's a fucking coward. Right. Not just because he ran from fucking oh, being the man on a place that he's from, right? Then he bring that place a championship? No. Let oh, me finish my point. Oh, all right. My point is, <laughs> if he was the player you say he is, yeah. he would have stayed with the teammates that he had and won a championship. No, he would have kept losing. No. He if he no was as great as you nigga. say he is, he could have won a championship no, he kept with those there. players no, he that he had no. instead of going he kept with, a, there. with two Hall of Famers, Bosh and Wade, and another Hall of Famer, Kyrie, and another Hall of Famer, Anthony Davis. That's why he's a coward. Michael for Jordan, two reasons. Michael Jordan didn't win with Hall of Famer. Kobe Bryant didn't win with Hall of Famer. Every player won with Hall of Famer. Didn't, they didn't run. They didn't hood hop. All right. They didn't run to it. You just said the Hall of Famer part. If you would have said the hood hopping part, you would have been. Yo, you he hood hopped two Hall of Famers. No, listen. Did he win with Hall of Famers? Did everybody win with Hall of Famers? If he hood hop or not, you can say he hood hop. 
But leave the Hall of Fame part yeah, out of it. When Hall you start Hall saying that part, that's when you discredit everything you said. Everybody. Well, let's wins. take the, the 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 Hall of Fame part. Right, he he hood hop to go with better players. He hood hopper. He's so great. He should have been able to take peanut butter and jelly and make souffle. Hell no. Nobody, nobody's, nobody's never done make, that. Nobody can make souffle out of peanut butter. Nobody. nobody have have anybody ever made souffle yeah, out of peanut butter? But he's the bright LeBron yeah. James. No. Listen. Oh my God, bloody bloke. Listen. Listen. The fact that he was. I think I need a spot of Tay. The fact that he was able to take peanut butter and jelly to the finals. In fact, he was able to. He was yeah, able he took he took peanut butter and jelly to the final. He just couldn't turn that shit into souffle. Yeah, because he because he went against a team that then was done with souffle. Yeah, exactly, the Spurs. exactly. Like the Spurs was like, we've been there, done that. Yeah, watch out, little pups. Yeah, exactly. And that's why Tim Duncan after that championship. We talking two thousand two thousand seven, folks. Yeah. Uh -huh. After that championship, he said, "Thank you for letting me win one more before you take over the league." He told LeBron that. There's a there's a video yeah. clip of him yeah. telling LeBron that after yeah. that series is over. Thank you for letting me get this one because I know you're about to take over the league. Yeah. Like, everybody knew what LeBron was about to do at that point. It was just a matter of time. Yeah. Like, say what you want to say about yeah. LeBron James. I'm not the I'm not the biggest LeBron James yeah. fan. Yeah. People mistake that as I hate LeBron James. No. I do not hate I'm, LeBron James. I'm right. I keep talking about this in my group chat. There's right. one dude that this, this dude swears LeBron James is the greatest thing walking since Jesus Christ. Listen, LeBron James ain't perfect. Yeah, nobody. And when I talk about LeBron James, I speak facts. Everything yeah, I can say can be perfect. can be Googled. Yeah, no no plan is perfect. This dude said LeBron James won with nothing. That's not true. That's a lie. That's not true. That's a that's lie. not true. See, that's now, did he take? I, I, I'm not now a, did, I'm now not a did, person who believes yeah, yeah, people are biased LeBron yeah, James fans. No, they, they say, are, oh, LeBron won with nothing. What did he win? Yeah, he didn't win shit In with 2007, nothing. when he took those Cavs to the finals, they didn't win. They didn't win shit. They got swept. They didn't man. win. It was 4-1, right? It was 4 He got swept. 4 Like you said, he got yeah, swept. He got swept. That's what happened when you he bring didn't, peanut butter he and jelly. He didn't, yeah. He didn't, yeah. Said, that's, what happened, that's, what yeah you, that's, that's what happened when you... That's what happened when you... That's what happened when you bring a knife to a gunfight. You get blown away. But bloody governor. But... You say he... But... You, you say but, he's the creme of the crime. But... You say but, he's the creme of the crime. But... But, listen. But... You cannot say LeBron James is what people say he is because he went out and proved that he is. Because we know about teams that have had a bunch of Hall of Famers that didn't win. See the 2004 Lakers... Yeah, and man, it's what you said. Had is, four you should have won the team famers, with the player that you had, win, and not going another Jersey man's team. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Nets, the Brooklyn Nets, that had three future Hall of Famers and didn't win the first iteration of the Brooklyn Nets, that had four future Hall of Famers and didn't win. I'm right. talking about Darren Williams, Joe Johnson, yep. Kevin Garnett, and Paul Pierce. They, they did. didn't win. They didn't. But why man have to go it cart them back on another man team to go get the championship, man? Because he was a free agent, he earned the right to do what he wanted to do. Right. That's what happens when you are a free agent. You earn the right to do what you want to do. You earn but if he was a real you, double O agent like James Bond, man, he would have been able to accomplish the feat on his own, man. You, you know what? With no help, man. No, man. Come everybody everybody needs help. No. Guess what? Again, you know, I got to talk like so Idris Elba. Everybody, these, these, these everybody, man. everybody needs help, bro. Man, check this out, bro. You can name me one superstar that has right. won without another superstar player. Never. Then you Fine. prove your name. point. Who? That's not the point that I no, was making. No, that bro. is the point. That is the point. Bloody governor, I was saying, that is the saying point. he's so great. He, he should have stayed in Cleveland, man. He and won with those chaps that he were with. Listen, no. LeBron James earned my respect when he went back to Cleveland and won that championship. No, I, I, no, no. Let me rephrase that. He can that. be great. Let me rephrase that. You got to be God that. to win that. Let me rephrase that. that. I don't know what the fuck no, you're talking you do. about. No, you're right. right. Let me rephrase what I said. Nobody's God. Let me rephrase. God, man. I didn't let me say rephrase. that. I said he had to be God. Can I rephrase what I said? LeBron earned my respect in 2012 because I still say 2012 was the best I ever saw LeBron. Yeah. And that was after he realized you're not good at being a villain. You're not good at that. Because right. in 2011, when he first went to Miami, he was trying to be a villain. LeBron, right. you're not good at that. Yeah. But when he was like, I'm just going to get back to being LeBron. Yeah. And Dwayne Wade said, for us to win, you need to be you. Right. And I'm going to fall back. Right. That was the best I ever saw LeBron. He's not 2011, real 2012 man. He's not is, the real best, man. is the best I ever saw LeBron. He 20, went to America that's when he earned with my Dwayne respect. Wade and Chris Bosh won when, him a championship. Man, shut up. That's when he earned my respect. Of all right, he deserves the hype. He finally did it. He earned my legendary respect when he went back to Cleveland and won that championship in 2016. That's a, but the, he had Kyrie mind. So what? So what? And Kyrie hit the shot, man. He so hit the what? Team that made them wing, bro. Boy. Kobe had Shaq and Paul Gasol. Ron Artest hit the Who shot. Who hit the thing on? Steph Ron, Curry, man. Ron Artest. LeBron James is the greatest who hit the, team who hit the player. Shot? That's why I keep saying, nigga, he know he did. He's we second, had to do to second, win. Second greatest team player. Uh, 
There's there there was this one guy named Irvin Johnson that played I do, that. I, I that do, <laughs> that's just my thing. No, that's that big. Man, what if you have your cup of tea? <laughs> Magic Johnson's the, the greatest team player yeah, ever. Yeah, LeBron, okay, okay, no, no. They're right here. Magic and LeBron. As far as team players, yeah. making your teammates better, yeah. Magic and LeBron are right here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm agree Those with are that. two best ever. Two best ever. I got it. I got it. So you got that. You got that. You got that. I'm going to get back serious. Why is it my job as the best player on the team to tell another man whose job is to come to work and do his job to do his job? Because you're the best player on the team. Why is it my job because to you encourage the best, a nigga to come to work and because, do because you're the leader. And, and be a man because you're the and, leader. And, and because you're the, the job. leader. Because you're the leader. And as the leader, you're supposed to galvanize your teammates. The leader is to do my job. No, the leader is to galvanize your teammates. Right. I mean, lead. Remember, lead... To have be a leader. Yeah, the key have have the key word in the, the key phrase in leader is lead. Lead. And lead. not lead yourself. Lead others. <laughs> you very smart, fam. So you know Stop acting like you don't know what me. I'm not saying leader. I don't understand what you're saying. What I'm saying is why should another grown man that has a job to do, because it's a job at the end of the day, because you got bills leader. and kids. Because you're a leader. It's called the You'll team leader. You'll come to work and, and do your fucking job. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, let, 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 let's bring it down to the level that we yeah. all relate to. Yes. I'm a manager where I work at. Yeah. Right. I run a team. Yes. Right. It's my job as the manager right. to manage the team. You right. know what it means to manage a team? It means to make sure that they have the tools they need to be successful. Sure. That is my job as the manager, mm -hmm. as the boss, mm -hmm. is to make sure they're in a position to succeed. Let's mm -hmm. bring it back to sports. Mm -hmm. Your job as the leader mm -hmm. is to make sure you lead your team. Mm -hmm. Babysit. No, I didn't say babysit. Mm -hmm. I didn't say he was a babysitter. Mm -hmm. I said he was a leader. That's the difference between a leader and... I'm supposed to tell another nigga, come to practice. Work harder. You're the leader. Play harder. You're the Get leader. Open. You're the leader. That's his job. That's yeah. what they fucking pay him to do. And your job is to be the leader. That's what they pay My you to do. My job is to put the ball in the hoop and be the best nigga. Your job team. is to be the... That's part of being a leader. That is. Lead by example. Right. That's part of being a leader. Yeah, they say lead by All right, let's agree. Leader. I'm not saying I don't disagree with y'all. Yeah. Do y'all agree that it shouldn't take another man for a nigga to have pride and no. take pride in no. what you do and have work ethic? It, it, it shouldn't take it. It shouldn't take it, but guess what? Sometimes people hey, listen, need to hear listen, that. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's go back to something else. We, I'm sure we all watched it. The Netflix special on the Redeem team. Did you watch that? Yes. Yeah. Did you watch that? So y'all know what I'm talking about when I'm about to say. Kobe Bryant. Yes. Everybody yes. Watch that. Thank you. Yes. Kobe, these niggas is, hey, we about, we in Vegas. We about to hit the club. Think we about to dress in press, throwing all our chains, all our watches, best clothes. Think we about to hit the club. Kobe Bryant. Y'all coming from the club? Hey, I'm going to the gym. What? And they like, this thing Kobe crazy. What? And then they wake up and like, wait a minute. That's what fucking makes Kobe great. Yeah. So guess what them niggas started, excuse me, that's what them niggas started doing. Hey, at four thirty, Kobe, we in the gym right. with you. Facts. You know why all the niggas became the players they right. became? Work ethic wise. I'm not talking about skill wise. Don't nobody get twisted. What I'm saying. I'm talking about work ethic wise. Right. I'm talking to y'all right. out there right. that's right. gonna watch this. Right. That's gonna dispute what I'm about to say, right. which I know is fucking facts. Right. Work, work ethic, ethic wise. Yeah, you nigga, know why those guys? Why Carmelo Anthony wise. became For what sure, he became? Nigga. Why Dwayne Wade became what he became? LeBron, Chris Bosh, Dwight Howard, Chris Paul, Darren Williams. Jason Kidd, all those guys, work ethic wise. Michael Red, uh, uh, Tayshawn Prince, Carlos Boozer, work ethic wise. You probably throw Tyson Chandler there if you're going to say Michael Red. He wasn't on the Redeem team. They became what they became, work ethic wise, because of Kobe Bryant, leading by example. Kobe is the main nigga that say, it ain't my job to make sure you do what you do, the fuck you're supposed to do. But if you want to be great like I am, this is what I do. Y'all can follow me if y'all want to be great like this. I agree. <laughs> all them niggas said, they did. I want to be great like that. They did. And they followed him. They did. That's why all them became great like they became. Mm -hmm. Because they realized mm -hmm. this guy is the best in the game right now. And he puts in the work to become what he's became. Not just so not if I want to become LeBron James, what? who we argue about with Michael Jordan all the time, Dwayne Wade, third greatest shooting guard of all time. Mm -hmm. Carmelo Anthony, one of the greatest scorers ever, top five. True. Uh, Jason Kidd, top five point guard of all time. Right. Chris Paul, right. Darren Wheel, all right. these guys. Look at what this guy does. And he's 
Right. The best in the game right now. Sure, facts. Second greatest point guard, I mean, two guard ever. Facts. Most skilled ever. Facts. That's what he do. That's what I'm going to like do. I tell you, man, and that's why I keep saying, it's not like, and that's why I keep telling people. Like, leader, bro. I, leader. leader. I Different get, ways to lead, bro. Even when I so say So we this, go to the park, my nigga, right? And we lose. Right. A few games. Okay. But we, we, we came together. We the homies, right? Right. And then I take and, oh, yeah. Uh, some other niggas I know that's good. I jump on their team, and I win now. Now I'm running around here. Oh, I won. You feel me? Yeah, and you got with some better players. I I, I, I fucking hood hopped on y'all. No, you guys said, nigga, I ain't gonna keep losing because you my friend. Yeah, you got you got with you got with to win. You got with a team that was better suited to win. Yeah, nigga, what the fuck, nigga? Because we friends, we just about to keep losing. Right, exactly. Morale going down all motherfucking day. <laughs> I, Hell no. Nah. I'm gonna fucking get tired of losing. Nigga, be like, damn man, yeah. I, I, yeah, we must be just come out here to have fun. You know what I'm saying? Listen, yeah, listen, I, I, listen, nah, listen, we listen, all go out there with not no. We don't care about integrity in the world. Listen, man. Listen, 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 this will never, happen. never happen. This will never happen. But just I'm gonna speak right. hypotheticals here. Yeah. All right, let's go back to all our heydays. Us three, yeah. motherfucking uh, Mike, yeah. whoever we used to go hoop yeah, with, yeah. everybody. Right, we go to the park, right, and we keep losing. And say let's just, just I right. can't be speaking some right. some fantasy shit, right? right? Fucking cameras is out there, right. people out there, right. and they're recording this shit, and we keep losing, right? And these niggas come up to me, and I'll be like, yeah, you know, this is my bros, man. I ain't known these niggas since 8th grade, 7th grade, you know right. what I'm saying? Culver City, out of bond, you feel right. me? You know, it, 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 it's, it's fun playing with them, win or lose. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Nah, nigga, I'm tired of losing. Everybody was competitive. I'm fucking true. tired of losing, bro. Fuck all that. I didn't stop being competitive. And y'all know until me. I became I, a grown man, but as a kid, y'all know I hated to lose. And y'all know outside. And y'all know y'all know how much I hated losing. Yeah, I hated losing. I, I hated another, that shit. Another note, gentlemen. I just want to take the time out. P. Lee, stop the De'Aaron Fox hate, please. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go into no spiel, bro. He's better than that. I ain't saying he better than SGA. But as far as young guards, one or two, he's in the top seven and down category. Probably top five. Nah. To me. Not in the West. He not even, I don't know if he top five point guards in the West. <coughs> under 30. Huh? Under 30. We're not talking about under 30. We just said period. Oh, well, don't, shit. Don't, don't move the, the, the best don't point move the guard in the West is still Steph Curry then. We'll debate that another day. Yeah. <laughs> we'll debate that another day. Um, I'm a, I, I got somebody. I got some some people's heads I want to get on. But we ain't did this in a minute. Yeah, and I got a couple people's heads let's I want to get on let's go, let's that go. that he not about to like. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. First, uh, Jermaine Lamar Cole, come to the front of the congregation, please. Let me have yeah. let me oh, have a word with you. Did you did you hear that bullshit? That what is it called? Grippy. That song Grippy or whatever it's called. Oh no. Nah. Okay. There's a song out called Grippy. Okay. That it's Jermaine Cole, it's J. Cole and somebody on it, whatever. Okay. You gotta listen to that song. It's, I'm, I'm go it's that. stupid as fuck. Okay, what do you do? It's stupid as fuck. It just she grippy, 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 grippy. It's it's stupid as fuck. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. dumb as fuck. Yeah. Okay. Now the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm gonna reference something he said. J. Cole, you at the top of your game lyrically. Yeah. When you put out music, I expect bars. Yes. Even when you put out music about women, I right. expect some bars. Facts. Facts. She got a good thing. That grippy bullshit that you just put out, that ain't it, Cole. That ain't it, Cole. Yeah. That is not it. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the Get fuck that is. I don't know what the I, fuck I, that I is. Shit, that ain't it, bro. It. That's not it. Is that hey, it? just from the title of the song, it sounds like Cleo from Set It Off. Get this bullshit yeah, out of here. Get this bu yeah, throw this bullshit yeah. out the window. It's hey, some man. bullshit, hey, and he know it's bullshit. Yeah. Don't 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 be biased. That's some bullshit. Hey, Drake. That Hold on, did... I'm not done. I'm not done. Yeah. Yeah. Drake, Drake. That song you did with Sexy Red, where you flipped the BBL Drizzy beat and tried to make it like Bad Bitches Love Drake. Nah, nigga. Yeah. Nah, nigga. Yeah. Nah, work. nigga. That didn't work. Nah, nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. That ain't it either. That ain't, that ain't either. Take your L, dog. Take your L. Take your L. Take your and L. it's okay because again, Drake. <laughs> You you took an L. Yeah. Hov took an L. Yeah. Look at what Hov did after he took his L. Right. right. Not everybody. Not everybody's batting a thousand. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Not everybody's batting a thousand. As a matter of fact, nobody's bat batting a thousand. 
You gonna take some L's. It's gonna be a hard summer for you though, my boy. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little difficult because summer. Because again, but, about ether. Even though he 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 hit Jay Z with the ether, that was not a song that played in the club. No. And unlike this song right here, it's, it's gonna Memorial play in the club. Day so weekend. It's everywhere. And we know Drake is still gonna try to be outside. It's still you, everywhere. You know, love a boy, whatever you want to be, you better not go to no it's club. Still, yeah, that song is still the motherfucking out because as soon as the niggas see you step in there. They going to play. Yeah, not that like shit. not like us is everywhere. Yeah, it is everywhere. It is. But my it, is. It, it, it ain't for me. It's not about that. It's about you tried to flip BB nah, or Drizzy did. Did. to make it yours. Yeah, and to say, oh, come see me. I can get your body right. Bad yeah. bitches love yeah, Drizzy. Nah, he tried to nah, overshadow nah, yeah, all the bullshit. Yeah, you try to make it seem like, oh, he did that. I'm gonna do this. And right. then you know you got the Drake followers, the Drake Glazers. Right. That's gonna be like, oh, that's go shit. That's go uh, shit. Yeah. No, I ain't nigga ain't go shit. I ain't that shit is garbage. These academics said that shit ain't working. That shit, ain't, that shit is so garbage. He said that working. You know, yeah. you know that nigga is the biggest Drake Glazer in the yeah, exactly. world. Exactly. So but that, that nigga say, nah, Drake, I don't even like this shit like but that. Drake, but Drake and Cole, y'all better than that, man. Y'all yeah, 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 better than that. Yeah, Come yeah, better than that. Yeah, don't make no more no more Gippies or Grippies, J. Cole. Yeah. Don't flip no more BBL uh -huh. Drizzy beats. Uh -huh. you, 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 J. Cole, don't do that again. And Drake, just take your L like a man. Yeah. Move on. Continue to do you. Make yeah. your music. Yeah. Make your hits. Make your hits. Do what you do, Make bro. Make that McDonald's food. Do what you do, bro. <laughs> do what you do, bro. <laughs> that wasn't it. That, that was a swing and miss, dog. Yeah. I just want to say... In my response to what you said before I go into what I was going to say, at the end of the day, no one in their record game can draw rule Drake. Drake and everybody else in the motherfucking, okay. in, in, the, in the music game as far as rap is concerned, in the words of Sean Corey Carter, they're not in the same league, not in the same bracket, All don't right. pay the same taxes, I'm not sorry. in the same league. No. So why the fuck am I interested? This didn't work. That's what I gotta say about Guess the what? whole situation. That's how you know he ja ruled him. The, the, the fact, to you. No, to the world. And to the Listen. young, mindless, Guess stupid what? social media driven no, people. To the world. This was, was not a hip hop battle. No, when you got a nigga that's supposed oh. to be on lyrics and you stoop to doing tea time oh, shit and here. and bullshit. But I just, but I just want to say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Didn't you disagree with here's, you last week? He come back with the bullshit. Here's what how, I, here's man. what I, here's Wait, Joe didn't agree with you. Though. Can I say something? Here's what I don't like what you're doing right now. Because I'm about to call you out on something. What I don't I, agree with what, what, what J. Cole's doing. No, 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 Regardless of what we no, 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 about. no, no. Tell them what we just talked about in the car. Tell them what was said in the car that you agreed on. You said that when niggas is dissing, they going to reach or say whatever. No, no. Let me tell you exactly I what I said. I don't think Kendrick let me Lamar won. Let me and tell you. she pissed me off when whatever, niggas get to talk about whatever, they won whatever. and he won. Let Nobody tell, won. Let me tell you exactly. Neither of them won. Let me tell you exactly what I said. What I said was because everybody was saying what he said. What not everybody? What he said was, "Oh, I expected Kendrick to come with bars. I didn't expect Kendrick to come with T. He did come with bars. Listen to what I'm saying, though. Kendrick didn't start it. Kendrick said on multiple occasions, "If you don't tell a lie about me, I won't tell the truth about you." Right. Calling him a pedophile. Listen a to lie. me. Listen to me. No, he got. Listen. listen. He got a lot of tricky. And shit there's on and there's that. proof on that. Yeah, there's a lot listen. of tricky shit. All day. Hold on. 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 Don't take it there, because if you take it there, I'm going to yep. take it further. Exactly. Uh, this ain't personal. It's a friendly fade. Let's right. keep it that way. Right. Kendrick told him, yeah. don't go there. Yeah. That man so is what did, part Listen two. to what I'm saying. Nobody can do nothing. Listen to, to what you. I'm saying. All right. Kendrick said, don't go there. So what does Drake do on Family Matters? You start there. talking about that man's fiance and his kid, He's which there. was all proven to be lies. Lies. All of everything it. he said is a lie. Everything no, Drake not. said was a lie. Drake, Drake everything did Drake both lied on each other. No, Drake, did Drake didn't get, get no BBL. That's a fact. Drake yeah, don't. Yeah. Drake ain't. Who gives a fuck? Drake ain't never. It's messed a rap with. battle. Drake Who give a fuck? He got fake abs. Drake, I don't. Drake ain't never messed with underage girls. That's a I fact. I ain't seen it. That's a fact. And until Nigga, that get, YouTube until I see the, YouTube until I see the paperwork, you, you it. until I see YouTube the paperwork, it. until this nigga on trial, it. It. until he go to jail. YouTube it. I don't YouTube care. It. Did he not kiss a 17-year-old girl? That's, there's a video of that. Nigga, that's an underage girl. That's a video of that. What does that have to do with when we talking about rap? You don't anyway, I don't even care about it, man. Yeah, truth, bro. I don't. I, mean, I don't I agree. I don't agree. Again. I, said, I, I, said, I don't. I don't. I said what I, 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 said, what I said about Jay. Nobody Cole. I said what I said about Drake. The, the black did. community yeah. suffered. What? Nigga, Nobody, black no, no, it did. no, it didn't. No, it didn't. Nigga, what the fuck happened to the black community? Two black men fighting each other. 
Oh my god. Instead of doing music together. Oh my god. This nigga pro black. Nigga, come on, bro. Them niggas don't make no. Man, can't even make pro black songs for real. All right. He do. I said what I said. I want to get on somebody's head, right? Get on their head. I want to get on Caitlin Clark's head. Get on her head. The level of entitlement. You're a good basketball player, but you're having your welcome to the NBA moment. So, while everybody's heaping praise on you, what if we find out that you really aren't that girl? And you got all these endorsements based upon the color of your skin and not the context of your hooping ability. When it was many, 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 many black women, Cheryl Swoops, Cynthia Cooper, Lisa Leslie, I can go on and on, Maya Moore, I can go on and on, who didn't get the endorsements that you get, didn't, didn't, none of the shit, yeah. and was much better players than you. Yeah. And there were other Caucasian and European players, Diana Taurasi, the Kobe Bryant of women, been doing this for a long time, and now you're getting a taste of your own medicine, I hear you're hurt, already, already. The yeah. great Caitlin Clark, but, hey, shout out to Andrew, and, and Miss Reese, you're doing your thing over there in Chicago, and you're not going out of your way to seek the cameras. You're just out there balling. You didn't come in with a sense of entitlement because you know what color your skin is. Like, if Caitlin Clark was black, would they talk about her? No. She'd just be another person from the Midwest. Can I respond to that? By all means. I agree with everything you said about that except one thing. What is that? You seriously think Caitlin Clark can't hoop? I didn't say that. I said, what if she got has gotten exposed? You've said many times just because you do some and 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 on Carmelo's podcast and other podcasts, Gilbert Arenas is being one of them. What you do in college don't fucking matter. She had to prove that and show it. And that's the same shit I be saying about these young stars of today. They're great for to, for now. What about four years from now? 10 years from now, are we still going to be talking about the same guys or you going to be done got passed by by another guy? You feel what I'm saying? As much as I love Book, Book is one of the best players in the league to me. But you let the Jason Tatums and the Ant-Mans and these other niggas come in the, in the fucking league, nigga, and, and, and pass you up, my nigga. We still talk about Devin Booker. They, bad. They talk about him. They don't talk about him bad. Oh, he didn't show up in the finals. He didn't show up in the finals. Oh, they just got swept. He did get swept. <laughs> Bro, you just said but, the truth, but, nigga. This was funny as hell. <laughs> nigga, you, nigga, they, that, they said the Devin shit Booker, that happened for real. That's Devin not talking Booker, about somebody that's speaking the truth. Devin nigga. Booker's still an all-NBA player. What are you talking <laughs> about, was, man? man? You said that you is to say Devin what Booker. I'm saying. No, this you, young lady I has get, a sense of entitlement. She feel no, like no, she's no, like... No, I ain't gonna lie. You know she I, mean? like, I agree with you 100% on that. She got like real that she, greasy and ain't proved nothing. I'm not saying that that girl can't play basketball, but I think it's hype because she's a white woman. I think I think we all agree on that. It is, but there's other white women. I just don't want nobody... Rebecca Lobo, Sue Bird, other ones. But you got to remember, they, 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 around the time... No, hey, no disrespect. She's not the most prettiest piece of cutlery in the drawer, so it ain't because of her looks. So, what yeah. the fuck? Listen, here we go. Them other women you was talking about was around them other women that you was talking about, so they couldn't overshine them other women you were talking about. This girl right here is in a time where she can kind of outshine exactly. and then she's white. So exactly. you get what I'm saying? Exactly. Them other white women couldn't overshine because they was actually playing against them black women that was them women. You understand what I'm saying? For real, though. <laughs> so, like, you yeah. get what I'm saying? For real. She just had yeah, the perfect timing, like I keep saying. And that's man. the same thing that's happened to Kay Caitlin Clark right now is right. that she's in the WNBA. She keep, she playing against grown-ass women. Mm-hmm. She playing against women. Is it is it like what we say against the fellas mm -hmm. when you come into the league? Mm -hmm. You playing against grown ass men. Mm -hmm. You playing bills against and you playing against motherfuckers that got bills, responsibilities mm -hmm. to take care. These people mm -hmm. got families to take care. What's the same with these women? When you come out of college, Caitlin Clark, and you go into the WNBA against right. these grown ass women, these grown ass women got bills to pay. Fact. They got families to feed. Fact. They got businesses fact. to run. Fact. So they out here like, yo, we out here trying to get it. You ain't gonna just come in here no. and just. And we all know how territorial women are. So, you know, the word been put out. It might even been hits been put out. Like, we finna, we finna teach this little mm, mm, a lesson no, it ain't, and I'm, show her what time no, it is. No, they gonna show her that. You gotta come in and earn it. Fact. You gotta earn it. 
It's not just gonna be given to you. Hell no. But at the same time, especially, I, especially, here, especially gonna say that because see, unlike the NBA, the NBA has always been the NBA, exactly. even when they had hype jobs. But the fact that the WNBA been around all this time and they ain't never got this many looks before, and they like. Bitch, who the fuck is you? You yeah. know what I'm saying? But what I will say, like, nah, that's, well, that's really here's, why the target is on our head. Here's what you know I say. Yeah. Here's what I'm gonna say. What I don't hey, like. I'm all racist. Here's yeah. what. I, here's <laughs> yeah, what I'm right. gonna say that I don't like because I agree with y'all. Yeah, it's all these women. No, she that, got game. It's all no, no, not that. She part. got a jump. Not time. that part. No, she got game, bro. No, she got game. All these women that come before her, her face, yeah, they man. deserved all the stuff that the Asia Wilsons, the Yolanda Griffiths, Lisa Leslie, Tina Thompson, Cheryl Swoops, Cynthia Cooper. Uh, 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 Rebecca Lobo, Sue Bird, Lauren Jackson, right. Diana Taurasi, Brittany Griner, Shamika Holes, Clark Candace Parker. I could go on and on right, and on. Right, right. Skylar Diggins Smith. I could go on and on and on about all these women that have came before Asia right. Wilson right now, who they finally gave her just due. She she owns it. W Swing right Cash. Now. Swing Cash. Like I could go on. Sabrina yeah. Ionescu. I could keep going on and on forever right. about women that have come before yeah. Caitlyn Clark. Before she went stupid. But, hey, I before she went stupid. Miss Kabash. Yeah, you know I just ran off all these names. Yeah, all these names I, came. I, I, all these names. Y'all named them original yeah. people. I all know. these hey, names came before Caitlyn Clark. Hey, but listen, all baby, hold on. Out there, they think I'm woke. Just because we talking women's basketball, Brian Fields. I ain't woke. Women can hoop. Women there's some women out there who hope you What up. I'm about to say is that what I will salute the WNBA for, what uh -huh. they're using Caitlin Clark is, is that Caitlin Clark is finally bringing an audience to the WNBA right. that they should have had a long time ago. No, that's true. It's not, And it's not just Caitlin Clark because Angel Reese helped with that. Yeah, true. She had a big-ass hand in that. It was the rivalry. It was the rivalry, yeah, true. which was so, somebody said on Twitter, which I'm going to leave out part of it because part of it I don't agree with. Yeah. But – Y'all remember Bird and Magic when yeah. they brought that that, that 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 college rivalry to the NBA yeah. and it helped the NBA yeah, get to no, where it, the NBA's got it. And really David Stern said, it "Oh, really wait a minute, these two is going to help us. This is going to take the NBA to the next yeah, level. It's going to take the NBA it's overseas." Show, show, yeah. I feel like Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese is going to do the same thing yeah, for the no, WNBA. Yeah, yeah. So for on that alone, right. we got to give Caitlin Clark credit. No, gotta give we got to give her credit. Sure. She's bringing something to the WNBA that, that they should have been had. But right. to your point, no, Caitlin Clark still got to earn this shit. <laughs> don't give her a shoe deal before nah. she's even shot a ball in the WNBA. Yeah. I don't I agree mean, with that. Don't is, make her, don't say she's the greatest of all time yeah. when she ain't ever dribbled the WNBA basketball. Mm -hmm. No, nah, you got to earn that shit. I just you gotta agree earn with the shit. narrative where you have to push your product to a certain audience because mm -hmm. guess what? Hockey has been surviving for a long time and they don't, they don't, they don't even, they don't even push that shit to the black community. And they survive. Lies. So, Lies. With that being said, Lies. with that being said, Lies. With that being said, Lies. same Black thing with baseball. Lies. They don't push that. Lies. They Lies. They don't, they don't Lies. They push basketball false. and football. False. That's false. The black community. Why do I have to push black, my fucking brand the, to an audience that, don't, just, that, 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 that we're not even trying to bring in? We don't care if you watch us or not. That's false. That is false. So you why did, so that's we false. Need it, we need a bird and magic false. again. Why? That's false. We need the casual that's again. Why? True. That this is not we true. We only made that's basketball false. for people to that's play false. basketball that's to watch. False. Who give a fuck that about people false. that don't play basketball watching our that's game false. or tuning in or false. buying a ticket or that's buying false. a jersey? That's false. They just had a, a fucking, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The word is going to pop in my head, but they just had a movement last year with baseball to get black people to watch baseball. They do care. We watch it. Led by Buki Betts. How many of our friends watch baseball? I know a bunch of people that watch baseball that are black, bro. So what you just said is false. Hockey does it. Black people don't give a fuck about hockey. But trust me, they push their propaganda to black folks. Where? In Canada? Everywhere. The hockey just ain't in okay. The, my point of me saying is, no, what you do, said was can you have a successful company if you don't go global? Yes, if, you can have a successful company if you don't go global, but you have a more successful company if you go global. Right. He's a successful businessman. He didn't go corporate yet. He has a franchise. I didn't say go corporate. Yeah, I didn't say, didn't say, didn't say nothing about going corporate. No, but I'm oh, different. You going corporate? He's going global. He didn't go franchise yet. To, to me, internet, going franchise. Sell, listen, uh, internet sales will make me global. Exactly. I'll, exactly. See, I don't, I'm just, saying. just because you reach a bigger audience, don't mean you finna make more money. No. Yes, it does. Nigga, it does. Yes, it does. If I go on the yes, internet, that means I'm selling to people all not around just the world. That, that around the world, and just straight up, nigga, it's, nigga who don't ever have to see me and see it. And if this man, if this man went to to take his company global, this nigga would have to get like three different phones. Because yeah. he would need an international number mm -hmm. <laughs> for people to reach him. He would need a local number for people to reach him. He would need a national number for people to reach mm -hmm. him.
He would need three different phones. I do agree with that. You know, it takes money to brand your audience, your your product to a new audience. Yes. So and, why not stick the to w, the clients or customers because you, or the smokers because that you, you know? Because you put a, you put a cap on yourself you as you do that. You do. Did you watch... B, this is the last thing I'm going to say before we wrap yeah, up. Yeah. Did you watch BMF? I did. Okay. What was Beach's main thing? Expansion. Right. Global. Started in Detroit. Went to Atlanta. Went to Miami. Went to St. Louis. Brought Cleveland in the mix. And at the end, he said, I want to go to the West Coast. Because if called, they didn't do that, then maybe BMF would still be popping. They wouldn't be under federal indictment. Well. Sometime when you get bigger, you got more eyes on you. Hey, listen, more money, more problems. We get that. That's what he wanted to do. But you want more money. You don't want to just be local. He, let's go back to hit, Let's go back to rap. Right. When that song Piggy Bank. Right. What did 50 say to Jay to kiss? You nice, but your ass is local. True. Which I disagree with, he but is, so. he did say so, that he's more local than he is yeah, national. Yeah. Jada Kid, if you get a bag and I'm gonna bag, hold on, let, hold on. Get a bag, let's go. Let, wait a minute, money. let's go to the, let's go to a song Jada Kid did. Why? Why my buds in LA and like it is in New York? Right. Is he local? Cause that nigga local. Yeah, he's regional rap. Come on, man. They got regional rappers. Come on, everywhere. man. It's, it's true. Come on, dog. It is. DJ Quick. He's smarter than that. Legend. But, but that nigga local. Regional. That nigga local. Yeah, it's regional. That nigga is West Coast. Yeah, regional. Niggas on the East don't respect quick like we do out here. No, that, listen, the real people who know music You're do. a real West Coast fan. You mean to tell me you're on Oakland. Nigga, they want to be from Compton. Obviously, West, you've been West on tour Coast. Fans no, other I places. said the West Coast. Is Oakland part of the West Coast? The other tour, the other tour, he said you know, other tour cities. You got to remember, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. St. Louis. Listen, this is what I mean. <laughs> and I'm not talking about DJ the. DJ Quick is known as a West Coast legend. Dr. Dre is known as a hip hop Hip hop legend. legend. It's a difference. See? A and West Coast hip hop legend. No, he's no. known as a hip hop legend, legend, period. Hip hop legend, bro. Not a, Dr. Dre has worked okay. with Jay Z? Oh, shit, that's time. Yeah. Dr. Dre has worked with Jay Z. Mm. He has Man. worked with Jay Z. Yeah, Quick, too. Hey, y'all. La.